Thank you very much, and thank you everyone for giving up your lovely sunny uh, evening to come along here. Uh, I don't know if anyone out there is uh, superstitious, but uh, we've been together on the hustings four times, and four times I've been drawn randomly to go first. Uh, so if you're superstitious and, and you're a betting person, you might like to take that as some, some kind of idea which way we're going. Seriously, um, there's some people in this room who I know very well from conferences, from Green Party Women events and from other things, but there's quite a few who I don't. So I'm going to take most of this time to tell you a little bit about myself, to introduce myself to you. Um, my first politics was feminism. It started at age five. I was told, you're not allowed to have a bicycle. It's not ladylike to have a bicycle. If you're a boy, you're allowed to have a bicycle, but you're a girl, so you've just got to walk. And at that point in life, I decided that you know, life wasn't fair and I wanted to change it. And I do uh, actually now cycle around the streets of London all the time, so I did manage to change that one eventually. But leaping forward a lot in time, um, until March this year, I was the editor of the Guardian Weekly, uh, the Guardian's international edition, which was in many ways for a journalist who, of 20 years the perfect job. I'd get to put John Vidal's latest on the terrible state of the world on the front page, and for a bit of light relief, I'd get to translate the uh, Le Monde arts reviews for inside for a bit of light relief, and maybe even sometimes the Guardian didn't pay, but these were the excuse to make a trip to Paris to check out to make sure that Le Monde was doing it properly. <laughs> but um, mostly I've been a journalist, but after 20 years as a journalist, um, I just looked at one more African famine and thought, I just can't record another one of these. It's just again. I was sick of reporting the news, I wanted to go out and actually change the news. And that's why in March uh, I gave up my job for The Guardian. And at that time I thought I was going to be spending the next year and a half or so writing a book about uh, that was going to be our economic and environmental mess and how to get out of it. But of course life is what happens to you when you're making other plans. So now I'm standing here before you instead, focusing on politics in a different kind of way. As well, um, in terms of being a journalist, I spent two years in Bangkok working with the National Commission on Women's Affairs, uh, working in sort of, as a UN consultant doing things like reports of the ILO on child labour, on women's health for WHO, and work like that. But what about the Green Party? Uh, well, I'm a New Year's resolution Green. Uh, on the 1st of January 2006, I looked at the state of the world, particularly because I've got an agricultural science degree, climate change, soil degradation, water degradation, and thought something's really got to be done. So on the 1st of January, I joined the Green Party. I didn't really know what was going to take over my life, and um, Sean Berry, who was our London mayoral candidate before last and for one year female principal speaker, is a lot to blame for this, because I'd been a member for about six months, and she told me, there's this little national job that involves writing a few emails, writing a few newsletters, you're a journalist, simple, not my much at all. Which is how, after being a member for nine months, I came to be a member of the national executive of the Green Party, uh, and came to serve four years as internal communications coordinator on the Green Party. Now, when I joined the Green Party Executive, there were no female voting members. The Green Party Executive is the organisation that is responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the Green Party. There were no women at all who had a say in it. And that was something that I thought was utterly unacceptable. And so it was partly that and partly a whole other issues in terms of the difficulty of getting women to stand in outside elections that I, with a lot of other women, uh, decided to found Green Party Women. Uh, which is an organisation that's grown very strongly um, in recent years and has, I think, done a lot. I'm very proud that in the last London Assembly elections we had uh, seven female candidates and four male candidates on the list. We almost had to bump a woman off to get a man on for gender balance. We didn't quite get there, it was close. That was one of my ambitions. Um, so uh, I'm sure as the questions come around we'll be talking about what, about what I'd like to do um, as leader and you know, I've got a whole programme on my website and all the rest of it. But that gives me you an introduction to who I am and why I'm standing here and why I'm asking you to vote for me. Thanks very much.